Hello, so kind of picking up where I left off the last vlog, we are going to get a good upper body pump in. While I'm super, super excited with my training ahead that will be lots of heavy lifting, lots and lots of squatting, building my legs up, which I'm always down to do. Um, especially when I first started CrossFit, I was all about anything lower body, which still love. But through my years of CrossFit, I have come to really appreciate a good upper body pump. So that is what we are doing. Coach Sam gave me a good one to do. So I've got all my plates out here. Now I'm just gonna get um, my shoulders warmed up and then we'll get going. So, warmed up, so I wrote down my workout. It is gonna be five sets, five strict handstand push-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 um, plate shoulder overhead. Rest, 60 to 90 seconds, between sets, five sets. So first I gotta come up with, I don't have like a handstand mat or anything. So these will be like very controlled, not gonna be bouncing my head, which will make them harder, which is probably good. I'm gonna set up my little sweatshirt. So I don't think I need this mat. Can't go all the way to the ground even though it's not that much, but I'll just control it really easily so I don't hurt my head or anything. I'm gonna try to go up. Only got 25s and 45s, so I'm gonna make a big jump. See if I can do it. So much harder without the sweatshirt on the ground. Feeling my triceps. 45, much harder than 25. Go figure. Definitely feeling it. Got three more rounds. Ouch. Put you right here. Oh, my arms. I am gonna do one more set of the plate to overhead because I did my first set with the 25 pounder and I feel like that wasn't like a good working set. So I'm gonna take the break and then just do one more set of 15. But that got tough, especially not being able to bounce as much or rebound on the handstand pushups. That got really tough, like close to failure on the last set of five. Yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna save that for future when I'm stuck in hotel room or whatnot. Don't have a lot of equipment. It's a good, good arm burner for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do my last set of 15 and then we'll move on to the next part. All right, so that's all done. Next thing, five rounds, or five sets, sorry. 10 plates, bent over rows. I'm gonna start maybe with one, depending on how tough it feels. Might go like two, one in each hand to add a little more weight. 10 upright rows, and then 60 second uh, plate hold. So just holding each of the 45s in one hand. And then we've got some ab stuff, but we'll do, that's after the five sets. No, no, Let's go. 
All right, five, five sets done. So now I've got anti, anti-rotational planks, four sets of 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, so these are just planks, and so I'm gonna alternate lifting up each arm really slowly and trying not to let my hips rotate as I lift an arm up. So we'll do 30, 45 seconds, rest a little bit, four times. <sighs> All right, so that's it for the workout. I'm gonna cool down, drink some water. I'm not very hungry right now. Especially that first one, just like worked up enough of a, or got my heart rate high enough up, enough of a sweat that I'm like not super hungry now. I'm sure I will be very soon. But that's it for today. Felt good to get like two workouts in essentially. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So I just went on, I had my outside time, went on a walk, and now it's time for breakfast. I got some coffee, oatmeal, and I added some jelly and almond butter. And then I've got three eggs and some potatoes. I already um, took these out, weighed them, and then put them back. Now my camera's gonna die, so I'll eat this and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so it's actually been a pretty productive day. I finished watching Hocus Pocus. Well, actually not entirely. I started it last night, um, watched a little bit of it this morning, and then started, I had to film a reflection video, or I still do, for my class. And then as I was getting that outlined, realized I needed to, for this class, we have to do weekly journal write-ups. And so I had to do a few of those, so got those done. I have one more to do, and then um, I have my video outline, but I'll probably end up doing it maybe later today to get a little more energy. I just don't want to be like half asleep while I'm <laughs> talking about this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty short. I think like five to seven minutes, which you guys know here. That's apparently not so difficult for me to talk for that long. So my mom sent me a box, so I figured it's not a whole lot going on today. So this might be the most exciting thing that we do. <laughs> Oh, yes, <laughs> chips, <laughs> oh my god, so good, especially these are, I mean they're both amazing, but these are incredible, oh, that just made my day, I'm about to have those right away. So the main thing was, I forgot a brush, which is a problem, <laughs> so my mom, this was the main thing that I needed, but my mom was awesome and she sent me a few other things, oh, chocolate. Yeah, like pomegranate, blueberry covered, or I mean chocolate covered. Got a cup, which is awesome. I've been using like the reusable ones for my coffee, so this will, or the plastic ones. So I asked if my mom had some extra like Febreze and um, uh, dryer sheets, just because I feel like I want my stuff, I don't know, when you like travel places and like, I don't want things to start smelling funky and whatnot, so. Gloves, need these. It's not too cold outside, but it definitely will get cold, so that's awesome. More chocolate. <laughs> uh, it's like me in a box. Oh, these are amazing. I'm glad there aren't too many left, because I'll be eating all of these. These are from Costco. If you haven't tried these yet, go get them now. They're so good. Uh, <laughs> it's jelly, raspberry jelly. I told my mom I was starting to get really sick of strawberry jelly, so she sent me some raspberry. Well, that made my day. Well, so I'm gonna have some chips and then get back to uh, my writing. I'll see you guys, ne I don't know, next time I'm doing something somewhat exciting. Good morning. So I just got the call, I'm COVID free. So now I gotta pack everything up and we're moving upstairs. Oh, today's been a very good day, very long day. I think I'm also just still obviously like nerves are going. Got a lot done today though, so I'm out of 
quarantine, so I'm in a new room. Pretty much looks the same, I'm just higher up. So biggest thing, it well obviously I get to like roam free, which is so nice. Get to actually eat at the dining hall now and can go outside whenever I want, which is great. So yeah, this morning I got my results. I think I told you guys that. Had to go do some blood work. That didn't take very long. And then came back, got like a tour of the campus, um, just where like the weight room is, dining hall, laundry, all that good stuff. Had to go uh, get fitted for a helmet. So I'm renting a helmet right now. Uh, hopefully everything goes really well and then I'll be buying my own. And I'm sorry if I like don't seem like, so I'm just so tired now. I only had like this much coffee and I need a lot more. Definitely not right now, but in the morning. Um, yeah, so got my helmet, which was exciting. Um, I'll show you guys that. So it's nice and snug. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> getting that, I was like, oh gosh, it's, it's getting real. Okay, so tomorrow will be my first day pushing, which they were like, you can sign up tomorrow or wait till next week. And part of me was like, oh, you know, just got out of kind of like sitting around for seven days. I don't know if I'm like, ready or whatever and I think part of it was just I'm nervous a little bit and I was like what the hell like I need to sign up for tomorrow we have to sign up for slots for the push track because they can only have so many people using it at a time um, and I was like I mean this is what I came out here to do like I gotta get started um, and the sooner the better and I mean I talked to the coaches today and they were extremely helpful and you know they said that we're not gonna go like full throttle right out the gate so that's comforting <laughs> oh and the weight room was open today so i thought about lifting but again just not having moved as much for so long um i just don't think it would have been the smartest to go and try and have a full-on lift so went rode the bike for a little bit walked outside tomorrow so tomorrow morning push time will be at eight and then um, that will be an hour. I don't think I'll film it um, just because I want to be like super present for it and focus. I promise I'll get some footage eventually. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll definitely be lifting tomorrow afternoon, so it'll be fun. Just get to do some like really fun stuff. Bunch of cleans, clean pulls. I haven't done clean pulls, like heavy clean pulls in a while. So that'll be really fun. Very excited, very nervous. It's been, um, I mean, I, you know, in CrossFit you learn, there's new skills that you gotta learn pretty often, but it's been a long time since I've, you know, learned a whole new sport. Or I'm just trying to remind myself that it's okay to make mistakes, to not go in it, trying to avoid mistakes, like just trying to, you know, listen to the coaches, feel it out, trust in myself, trust my ability. Cause I think sometimes if you go into it, just trying to avoid doing it wrong or avoid making mistakes, like it ends up just like paralyzing you. So it's just better to just know that that's gonna be part of it and that's okay. But yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm also really tired. <laughs> uh, didn't get as much sleep as I would have liked last night. And there is a game on tonight, but odds are I will not be awake for it. I think that is it for the day. I just had dinner. It's a really good dinner. Steak, rice, vegetables, and um, pork ribs. Really good. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna chill out the rest of the night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Day one. Is done. I pushed today for the first time and I got to lift for the first time in over a week and in the um, training center, which both were super cool. And I'm sorry I didn't film. I just really wanted to take everything in, be super present. I think I was also just really nervous. So pushing went really well. Um, I honestly, I think I was the most nervous about not, but basically, so you push this sled down like a slight hill and then it goes back up so you run it down you hop in and then it goes up and then it gets to a point where it slows down and then it comes back so i was really nervous that as i was running down because that's the part you have to get used to is running downhill and not wanting to you know pull the brakes you got to keep pushing the sled down the hill and not just like going along for the ride so we did a lot of that and um so we didn't do any hits which is what um, like when you initially start the sled, what that's called. So we didn't do any of that yet, um, which I appreciate. It was good that Justin, the push coach, we started with building confidence and being comfortable with running fast, 
downhill and then we're gonna like build our way back to the hit, which I really appreciate because I think I was more nervous about that part. So I got in the sled and so that was all good. Uh, no crashing. Yeah, I could tell for the first half so we were there for an hour. I've always been this way. And I think too is like, which I talked about before and I was talking to Nicole, one of, so we're in like pods because of COVID. And so you don't like, you only train with people in your pod. So the people in my pod are Lauren and Nicole, both veterans of the sport. And so we're super, super helpful this morning. Nicole, uh, I was talking to her just now in the weight room and she was like, it's always, an adjustment because everyone for the most part is coming from being you know elite at whatever sport they were in into this new sport and so you're at like ground zero again or you're back to square one again and it's definitely hard because like I mean I identify myself as being an athlete an athletic person and but you kind of have to at some point you really got to let that go of trying to get it right and just go and I really liked uh, Justin we were talking about you know what to think about what I need to work on he was like you know you just gotta with any cues that he's like with any cues I give you you know consider it and then just go like you just gotta go because I think you know it really reminds me of learning how to Olympic lift and there's just so many things to think about and if you try and think about all those things it ends up just looking and feeling like shit. <laughs> and it ends up slowing down the movement because you're going through this checklist in your head and you're just like, oh my God. So like you kind of just have to remind yourself what that cue is, one cue, maybe two, and then just, just go. Um, and the nice part is I've got a lot of time with, you know, just being here for like a month or two. And I mean, not that that's really a ton of time, but um, I mean, the good thing is like I felt like I got way better at the end than I was at the beginning. And that's really all I can ask for. And so if I just keep doing that every day, we'll be in good shape. And then got to lift. So that was fun. Did some squat cleans, some clean pulls. Oh my God, which that was my favorite lift in college. Uh, we didn't do a ton of Olympic lifting, but we did clean pulls and power cleans. And I loved clean pulls, so that was so fun to get to do those. I mean, I do, I've done clean pulls like recently in like clean complexes, but um, this was just clean pulls and decently heavy. So that was good, some lunges and then some accessory work. I'll definitely get some footage of lifting. I think I'm gonna lift tomorrow, so maybe I'll film. It's crowded in the sense that like we all have to, you know, keep our space. And so there's just, you know, my first time in there, I just wasn't sure what the spacing would be like and you know with the camera and all that um i didn't want to be in anyone's way so but yeah i think it'll be good i'm very tired but like from all good things i think just because you know like i'm learning a new sport but like when i left the push track this morning i was like a little kid i called my mom and i was like that was so fun I was like, I'm definitely not great at it right now, but it was so fun. And I know I still haven't been in an actual bobsled, but I could totally see myself doing this for a long time if this all works out. And um, one thing I do have to make sure, I thought I was going to leave quarantine being super heavy. Like I thought for some reason, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to work out much and I'm just gonna eat all the time and like all this stuff. And if anything, I mean, I don't have a scale with me, but if anything, I feel like I came out of it lighter which um, I mean, isn't like the worst thing, but like I I could definitely feel it pushing the sled this morning. I was like, Whoa. so I need to be good, especially now that I am gonna be training again, back to training full time. I just gotta make sure that I'm eating enough. Still, you know, vlogging everything. It's 4.30. I'll probably have a shake here and then run, not run, walk. <laughs> Uh, to the dining hall to have dinner. I don't know what's for dinner tonight, but um, also today I met a ton of people, which was really cool. Met a ton of the skeleton athletes too. Um, talked for a long time with one of them and I was just like major props to what you guys do. I, it looks really cool. I don't think I could ever get myself to do it, but um, it's just so cool. We were talking about how it's interesting with different athletes coming from different sports and how, you know, bobsled and skeleton are still, especially in the US, maybe not as big as it, it is in other countries. And it's kind of a bummer because like as I've now 
come to meet a lot of the people in this in or at least in the US in the sport um, and learn more about the sport just how cool of a sport it is and how much goes into it and not that I thought it was a simple sport by any means but I just didn't understand all that went into it and it's really cool um, and I'm really excited to share with you guys more about it um, as I learn more about it I'm just really happy right now very grateful just feel like you know it's where I'm meant to be right now so yeah which is a really cool feeling. All right, I'll stop ranting, go eat. I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's a little bit later in the day. Um, this morning, got in, well, first of all, before I got into that, I need to show you guys this. I feel like the camera does not do it justice, but it is beautiful. Leaves are changing, mid 70s outside. It's a beautiful day. Taking a walk to the lake. Not swimming in the lake. Heard it's like sub 60 degrees. So I don't know, maybe as like a recovery thing, jump in there one day, but uh, for now, not gonna do that. Quick lift in this morning. Um, had a great chat with the, one of the coaches out here, um, just picking his brain about training specifically for bobsledding. Wait, there's more things, pretty things to look at. That's actually a golf course, I believe. So, DJ Lauren Connor, I've scoped out the golfing scene for you guys. Here it is. Hello, so we are at the track. Wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to film because as you can see, it was raining already, and it was really raining a few minutes ago, but it's lightened up a little bit. Um, at the track, that um, it's not too far away, just like a little under a mile. I just wanna show you guys how pretty this is. I feel like you can't see it as well, but those trees are just crazy. Yeah, so out here doing some hundreds, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do uh, just resting a little bit to my first set. I'm gonna do another set um, in a second here. All right, hold on. That was good. I mean, one of the biggest things um, obviously the biggest and priority being the bobsled, uh, bobsled specific um, stuff. So we did pushing this morning, definitely progressing from day one, which is, you know, all you can ask for. I mean, the other component is obviously the strength part, and so, um, which I'm all here for. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then the other part is speed and, you know, sprinting, running mechanics, which I know may come as a shock to you guys, but have never worked on. <laughs> um, so it's fun, you know, to get to learn something new and then like stuff that, you know, cues that are really sticking from the push sessions and just with what we're trying to do and like the physics of it and stuff. And then kind of bringing that out to the track and just trying to be more athletic, like actually, using my arms when I run. Little things like that, like where my foot strikes on the ground, all that stuff. Not raining, started to pick up again, but it's not too bad. Maybe you can see the view a little bit better from here. Yeah, you can see the trees and stuff a little more. And those are right there. Those are the ski jumps, which is crazy. Not that right now, I mean, the focus of my training is bobsled and also I want to stay healthy. So, you know, obviously doing runs on the push track, stuff like that, doing more sprinting, all that verse is very different than what I was doing before. And so I want to make sure that I'm giving my body time to acclimate, um, to adapt and not just to rush into it and then end up hurting myself. I did have a Metcon that I was contemplating doing, but has a bunch of double unders and squats in it. And um, I think my net legs need 
of it to break. But it did have pull-ups and push-ups and I don't have a pull-up, which I'm so mad. I meant to bring, I mean, we have access to a rate room, but like due to COVID, like there's just certain times that we can be in there. So today I don't have access to a pull-up bar, but um, I was thinking about doing like some banded rows instead and that has push-ups too. So I don't know, maybe that'll be something either stay out here to do or might just do in my room. I'm also really hungry. Haven't had lunch yet. Been a good day so far. We'll see you guys maybe later today or maybe tomorrow in the weight room. I think I'm gonna bring you guys with, so that'll be fun. I'll show you real music. morning was happy to get some lifting in push this morning which was really fun my hips are very sore yeah and it is now raining a bunch which made it warming up um, interesting just wanted to come on here and I think I'm gonna end the video here but also just wanted to thank everyone so much for how much support um, and awesome messages I've been getting from my friends my family and just all you guys following along it just, it really, really, really means the world to me. And um, I've got, you know, lots and lots still to learn and improve on, but just really enjoying the process. Like every time I've been able to go push is just, it's really fun. I mean, definitely part of me just wants to get it right, right away. Just not letting that frustrate me and just really allowing myself to be present, absorb all the coaching I'm getting from the coaches, from the veterans here, and um, looking forward to keeping going. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.